Oh my god, that took a really long time, but here we are at Loser Semis. Can you believe it? We made it after all this time. <laughs> finally, finally, finally. It's Roy. It's Roy PT. It's, it's it's top tier at hour, and they both dash back immediately. Yeah, so it's Hydra playing Roy. It's Palu PT, or not Palu, Palu Wolf and Roy. Mm. These are she's she's Enzo with Roy. Oh, that's Tom. Oh, so did the funny thing. Um, he's not able to get the two flame. I don't believe he intended the F smash out. Might have been trying to go for an F tilt. What a side B just to get back into the corner. I'm not going to show you the show about the potential behind that. I like to point out that he let Charizard. So this is like Smash 4 Beast coming in here. <laughs> the Charizard main. In the meantime, like, he managed to get back to stage by going low and using the super armor to make Roy hesitant and just focus on ledge trapping as he jabs that ledge. Oh wow, missing the tap, but uh, not getting the sweet spot on the F tilt. Um, that's gonna be the back tilt. No, interesting. I feel like Peace Guy now is just like struggling to keep uh, Hydra off stage. I mean, to get him in the corner, that's a good back here, just catching the whiff. Yeah, the reason why, like, Charizard can be, like, like ooh, that, that up there is crazy. Like, Charizard can be so, like, problematic for a lot of characters in just his ability to act out of shield super well and, like, just be constantly threatening. But characters that can wall him out or outspeed him, like Roy can do in both manners, like, it just makes Charizard's life, like, so frustrating but with the damage output that charger can have like you don't need as many as many openings because he functions like a heavy just with a lot of vertical range also what a conversion that was he got the salary spot of down air into a grab that was like just showing off how much knowledge of his character that he has that was a really really specific interaction so that's going to be the after not optimal the other so not going to go quite yet 150 percent on smash roll you have to go for that falling up air there dude you can stretch out Charizard's time. neck. This is the second time he's got to be looking at up smash. This would be a little bit less trigger happy with it. That up smash is actually not going to kill quite yet. Um, if he had like any bit of range, that he really might have just done the trick. Smash will from all fire characters is so strong. So it's that middle platform once you juggle with all of their up airs so well. As the classic Roy, I'm going to stand at ledge and jab. Yeah. And it climbed from behind. Oh my god, that jab is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Beast decided to come down with Nair as he looks to get ooh, a couple of these back throws. And once again, the Sally's swap down and catching the tech in. I'm going crazy. Oh, so good. He brought it all the way back. This is basically even. One good hit from either of these players is going to convert into a kill for sure, uh, but not connecting the double hit of the neutral. I wonder why he could go to set, yeah. I was thinking, like, as he... As he was coming down from a land for for a landing, Hydra dashed back twice, and instead of taking the space in the corner, mm -hmm. uh, Beast decided to go to the center platform and use both jumps and fast fall to the center platform. Which is like, why did you do that? You had space to land, uh, and in instead now you were pushed back off stage and forced to go to ledge, and then. Being at ledge against Roy or Krom is like so volatile. So mm -hmm. something I picked up on, I think Beast could be a little bit less trigger happy with his up smashes out of shield. We just up smashes in general. Cause like the two stocks that he lost in the beginning will be because he whiffed it. And then Roy's like, okay, I'm gonna have tilt it. I'm gonna dash attack right now because I have ample time to do this. So he needs to be so confident that either that up smash is gonna he needs to be more confident that up smash is gonna connect will only go for it when he's at uh, lower percents. I wonder where... I wonder if this is a character change or they're just deciding stage. Uh, yeah, no character change. It was just odd only to see one of them out of the arena. But alas, into game two we go.
Pokemon Trainer vs. Four. And PS2 is the pick. Going back to Smash 4 would not be ideal for uh, for Beast, and instead getting this larger stage, it's just a wide a wide array of uh, of stage in order to get all of his horizontal extensions. Because Beast was doing very well on his conversions, chasing across stage and performing these tech chases super solidly. It was the landing that was getting in trouble, as Charizard is rather large. So, um, what Beast is doing right now is, I think he's over committing to aggressive landings. Every single time I see him trying to land a falling neutral lane after throwing out a couple of jumps, and every single time, Hadra has been there to ready to punish it with a back hit or an up hit. So Beast has to find a better way to land, and maybe not even go with Charizard for landing. Because if his only option is to go through that aggressive recovery, it seems that Hydra is ready to stop it out every single step of the way. Yeah, as we see him start to be using Ivy Store now, instead of switching immediately to charge and getting the stock for it. Uh, no Squirtle at all from either of these two games, which I guess he isn't as confident in his Squirtle conversions, and Wi-Fi can be frustrating with those uh, quicker characters who rely on those conversions to get damage and to get stage position. He's focusing more on the, on the Pokemon with more powerful singular hitboxes. I feel like Beast, at that point, at that instance, he tunnel visioned a little bit to trying to getting a short hop falling aerial. Uh, maybe just trying to lead a stand in place or like a shield. Um, and then as a result, like Hydra has just picked up on it every single time. He has to be a little bit more patient getting back to stage. Nice play blood through the ledge, able to finally land back at center with the salary spot back in and another back in. Hydra is running all over Beast right now. Yeah, Roy's air, uh, Roy's air speed and just quick acceleration is what's letting him infiltrate space so well. And there's not much Charlie can do about it since one of his best of his landing buttons are fair in there. Like, just get beaten smash, by the sword. That up smash just because it was stale. That second one did not kill, but the third one is finally going to do it at 138%. Um, 171%, just about anything can kill Charizard at this point. A jab fail, uh, you know, a back kill, a neutral low. He's just sprinting the up smash button. It was, like, it works, because up smash is crazy. What a time. He was about to get the gimp with the nail. But uh, Hydra perfectly timed that up to be able to get that on. Sour spots fair. Uh, sour spot up there is <laughs> letting Charizard lift up 200. <laughs> He's gonna go from the opposite side. The boy is facing. Okay. Two, three, 46 in a blink of 52 already, and keeping him in a corner. Look at that patience. He was waiting for uh, Beast to drop his shield. Had the lead as well on the aggressive landing, but was slightly in the space for it. Ooh, Good. getting only the Nair one, which is led into a fast fall. Up smash. Hydra playing super well right now. Dare I say, he's on fire. Mm -hmm. All right. The aggressive I'm, landing. I'm glad. Yeah, there it is. The one time he doesn't neutral, he didn't neutral get it, or one of the few times he didn't. Neutral get it. But he scouted that roll far by just standing so close to ledge. Mm -hmm. And like it's a relatively routine bait where you're just being so close that you think, oh, I can roll right past him. But Roy's initial dash and just like many characters, so strong and that F, F tilt being practically another F smash and how powerful it is at its sweet spot. Yeah, and that's going to be a pretty confident 2-0, I, I believe, um, from Hydra's part over Beast. That means Beast is going to now be going, when I say home, he's going to be going offline with, uh, <laughs> with uh, I laugh because I think I'm clever. Uh, gonna, gonna be going back with fourth place. Uh, that means what? That means we're gonna be seeing who Web is the loser. Hydra. Hydra and Web. Right? Hydra, Hydra, Web, and the winner gets to face off against Utopian Ray with his Bear Bird Princess Goddess combo. Yeah, Girl. that's a very formidable trio. <laughs>